Shalom friends in Christ, welcome back to our channel. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so now and turn on full notification bell so you won't miss our next video. In this video, we will be sharing with you all a message from Our Lady. This message was given to Sia Gisela Cardia, Sia Valeria Caponi and Pedro Regis. Please note that these messages have their different dates and these years, as listed, have been approved by the Catholic Church. Before we begin, let us invoke the Holy Spirit for guidance and discernment. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy Spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit didst instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady to Gisela Cardia on March the 24th, 2022. Dear daughter, thank you for having listened to my call in your heart. Men still do not understand the reason for my coming. I want to save this humanity, to whom I say, stop reading my messages in order to arouse your curiosity, but live them. I see my children getting lost and I want to show them the way. I come as a loving mother to show light in the midst of darkness. With your prayers and true faith, you can avoid the Third World War. But you are still enclosed in your shells and do not see beyond. Catastrophes are coming, but do not abandon the sacraments. Despite my tears, your hearts are hard and you do not allow the light to enter. I ask that your faith be not only one of words but of deeds. You have the most powerful weapon, the prayer of the Holy Rosary. Pray. As time goes by, the Christian faith will no longer be professed and you will be forced to hide. Be prepared for this as well. Communism is advancing rapidly. All of this will take place and will be punishment for the heresies, curses and blasphemies that have been perpetrated until now. Now, my daughter, I leave you with my maternal blessing. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Message is given to Valeria Caponi on March the 23rd, 2022. My children, thank you for always coming punctually to our appointments. I always wait for you with great love in these difficult times for you. I will be nearer still so that you would not lose hope. Pray more, on a personal level as well. My son never leaves you, but if you besiege him, he will be still nearer to you. See how wars suddenly come into being, and in such moments, my children forget what fraternal love means. Be aware that all this does not come from God because you merit being punished for your disobedience. But everything that brings negativity and wickedness is from the devil who arises after you have put yourselves at his complete disposal. Repent, my dearest children. Do penance and ask forgiveness of your father who has been waiting for a long time for you to return to him. If you do not repent and ask for forgiveness, Wars will continue to make a harvest of my innocent children. Pray for those who govern you, that they might repent of all the butchery that they are obtaining for Satan and his followers every day. I am suffering very greatly. You mothers understand me. So pray and get others to pray, so that life would once again truly overcome the deaths 
obtained by the evil one. Little children, I love you, and I can no longer hold back your father's hand. I therefore ask you for prayers coming from the depths of your hearts as gifts of reparation that will reach the Father. Message is given to Pedro Regis on March the 22nd, 2022. Dear children, love and defend the truth. The Lord wants you in the desert like the prophet, in the midst of the people, guiding, loving and suffering with them. Noble is the mission that the Lord has entrusted to you. Do not forget, your reward will be great in heaven if you remain faithful until the end. My poor children are walking like the blind leading the blind. They need true shepherds to keep them from the wolves. Bend your knees in prayer, for only thus can you understand God's plans for your lives. You are heading for a future of great confusion in the house of God. I suffer because of what is coming for you. Like the great prophets, proclaim the truth even if you are rejected and cast out. You will always be in the heart of God. Whatever happens, stay with the truth. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace.